wrinkles plus steroids equals the expendables. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to talk much about the story of The Expendables, mostly because it's pretty bland. So, I kind of wanted to make it a little fast. Let's just say The Expendables, they're all mercenaries. Uh, Stallone, Jet Li, freaking uh, this guy, that guy. They all have weird names. Marvin Jefferson and freaking Lee Christmas and uh, Jeffrey Valentine and freaking Bob Dickweed. I don't know. They're all weird names. You know, it's just code names from mercenary, mercenary names. So, yeah. They all have weird names, and they're all mercenaries. They get one job from the CSI. I mean, C oh, shit, CSI, I'm sorry. CIA, they're all the same, whatever. They all have C's in the beginning. Uh, CSI is a completely different thing. Uh, that's a shitty TV show. Uh, I said it. There you go. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the CIA wants them to go and do one job, and if they screw this up job up, they're dead. They're dead. So pretty much, uh, yeah, they have to go do this job, and... It looks like mostly they're not going to do the job until one thing happens where Stallone's character wants to definitely do this job now because some girl he likes is getting captured, got captured and stuff, and he's like, blah, I like her for some reason. Uh, so the story is bland. Now I'm going to give it a score from point zero to 1.0. If you watch my video game reviews, you know that... Uh, yeah, I pretty much do it like that. But I'm going to do it for movies now. It's going to be out of a 4 out of 4, so you, you'll see how it comes along. So I'm going to give the story a, a point five. It's not bad, it's just bland. Let's go on to the acting of the film. Okay, now the acting in the film was actually really good, I have to admit. I was not expecting it to be good, but I thought it was actually pretty freaking decent, at least. You know, Stallone always does a good job, I think. You know, even when he's in a bad film, I think he's okay, at least. Jason Statham, I personally love, so, you know, I'll just say right now, I have a man crush, so I go <laughs> throw that out. Jason, if you're watching this, I, I love you. Anyway, Jet Li, he's pretty good. He doesn't talk that much, but it's Jet Li, so... Obvious. Uh, Randy Kotor, not the best actor, but he's okay. I think he's the weakest of the bunch, but still pretty good for someone that's barely acted. I think he was in the freaking uh, or the, the Scorpion King sequel, which was a really a prequel, but whatever. Uh, Dolph Lundgren, I thought he was actually the best character of them all, and I thought he was actually pretty good as an actor. I never thought Dolph Lundgren would be a good actor, really. I mean, not saying he's a bad actor, just saying, like, good as in... You know, the value, like he gives out good lines. You know, his dialogue's pretty good. And he's actually kind of funny. I mean, everybody's kind of funny in this film. Steve Austin, he probably doesn't even he doesn't talk as even close to as much as Jet Li does, and that's really saying he talks a couple times. And when he does, he doesn't really give the best, you know, performance. But he's okay. Terry Crews, he's always badass. I love Terry Crews. Uh, Mickey Rourke's barely in it, but he's good. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger makes a quick cameo, and he's okay. <laughs> Bruce Willis is pretty good for the short role he is. And overall, the acting is really good, so I'll give it a .8 out of 1.0. I know, this rating thing's confusing. You know, I'll just say .8 out of 1. There you go. So let's go on to the action. Yeah, a category for action. Okay, now the action in the film, it's a given. It's badass. Now, this movie is made for action. If you came into this movie thinking you're going to get a great story, fantastic acting, which the acting was good, but still not fantastic, and like an excellent pacing and directing all that, you came to the wrong place. If you want action, oh my, you found the holy grail because the first, I would say, half of the movie has a lot of action, don't get me wrong, but probably as much as something like A-Team had in its first half. But the last half is all action. I'm, I swear, it's all action. The last 30 minutes is probably some of the best action I've seen in a long time. It's badass. And when they're all together kicking some ass, and it, it's sweet. It is badass. I, I don't know what else to say. The, the, C, the little bit of CGI they use could have, you know, used in, you know, it could have been improved, but everything else, just Stallone is still good, even though he's like 64. What, 465? Statham is awesome. He's probably the best fighter in the movie, I would say. He's swift and awesome. He's awesome. Jet Li's, all, of course, great. Everybody's great. Let's just say everybody's great. So, overall, the action, I'm just going to give it a one out of one. Perfect. So, let's go on to entertainment, which is pretty much the overall. So, overall, I was 
extremely entertained by this film. I thought it was really, really fun. Funny in some parts, never got boring, and I just thought it was awesome. Now, I do have one problem with, with when I saw this film, and it's not with the film itself. When I was in the theater, I had a bunch of 10-year-old kids that just pissed me off, so I didn't enjoy the first 30 minutes of it that as much as some other people would, because it was you know, not as much action, and also because the kids were talking and shit, and they were being really rude, throwing shit and stuff. I mean, there were ten-year-olds, but they were like, every time Jet Li came up, they would yell racial insults to him, and you know, I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? And when, you guessed it, when Terry Crews came up, they yelled some racial insults, and I gotta say, if they said that to Terry Crews, he'd be like, you know, you'd probably think he would probably break their necks, but you know, he'd probably be cool about it. And then when they're not looking, he would get one of those shotguns from the movie and blow them in half. I've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. That was a badass scene. I love you. Uh, Terry Crews. I love you too. I love both of them. Uh, Jason Statham and Terry Crews. I don't love the two kids. So they're annoying. So anyway, I was highly entertained, even when those kids were annoying me, because you know what? I was just thinking, what would Jesus do? He'd probably kill them, but Okay, so I, you know, I wasn't thinking that. I was just, you know, even Jesus would kill him. He, he would, be, he would be pissed. He'd be like, man, I, can't, I paid eight fifty for this movie. You know, fuck these smite dead. So you know, what? let's just go into overall. I'll, I'll give the entertainment a point nine. So overall, I had so much fun with the Expendables. It's everything I thought it would be, and I think everybody should see it. If I had to give it a final score, if I had to tally it all up, it would be a 3.2 out of 4. So definitely, that would be like a, I don't know, uh, like an 8 out of 10. I don't know. Let's just say 3.2 out of 4. So yeah, this is how I'm going to be reviewing from now on. Many people say I give high reviews, so I'm going to do more accurate. So I'm going to do it more accurate. So yeah, there you go. 4.2, wait, no, I'm sorry, 3.2 out of 4. So if you don't like this way of reviewing, then I don't know, maybe I'll switch it. Probably not. But anyway, thank you. I'm done. Expendables is awesome. 3.2 out of 4. Thank you and bye.